New York, baseball has transformed at dizzying speed since Edgar Martinez took his final swing and Mike Messina, Mariano Rivera and Roy Halladay threw their final pitches, we don't have enough time to talk about that, the ever-erudite Messina said Wednesday when the trio of newly minted living Hall of Famers appeared at a news conference. The game always evolves, it always has. I'm not sure I love the way it's changed lately, but that's just the nature of it. When Messina retired Boston's Dustin Pedroia on a double play grounder, went his final outing in 2008, a start that made him a first-time 20-game winner at age 39, strikeouts in the major leagues totaled 32,884. That broke a mark that had stood since 2004, there were 41,207 whiffs last year, setting a record for the 11th straight season. When Martinez took his final swing in 2004, grounding into a double play against Texas reliever Brian Chaus, infield shifts weren't even totaled, rarely employed only for a few lefty pull hitters like Red Sox slugger David Ortiz. Baseball's analytics age, the successor to the steroids era, had just begun by 2013, when Derek Jeter and Andy Pettick walked to the Yankee Stadium mound to remove Rivera. The closer left in mid-inning against Tampa Bay to tears and cheers in what turned out to be his finale, after Yonel Escobar had flied out. That month also marked the final appearance of Roy Halladay, who died in a plane crash 14 months ago and was elected posthumously. His family attended the news conference. There were 34,673 infield shifts on balls in play last year, up from 8,180 in 2013 and 2,357 two years later. Partly as a result, the Major League batting average dropped to .248, its lowest since 1972. In the past when I played, with two strikes we tried to put the ball in play, Martinez said in the corner of the ballroom atop the Saint. Rias, New York. I don't see many players doing that anymore. Two strikes it's like swing hard still. I wish that could change with the players today. The Hall of Fame is baseball's annual celebration of itself. Hall President Jeff Idelson saluted its exclusivity. Among 19,429 Major League players, just 232 have been chosen for the Hall, including 132 from the Baseball Writers Association of America annual ballot. Having achieved the most at the highest level, perhaps their thoughts should count the most. As a starter, if you can't get deep in games, you lose opportunities to win games and you won't pitch as many innings. There's a whole list of things that happen, Messina said. So as a starter, I'm not a huge fan of the way it's going, but I'm not the one making the decisions. I'm an old guy now who just played a few years ago, Rivera, the first player elected unanimously by the BBWA, was as succinct with his words as he was with his pitches, I agree with Moose, he said. He's the man, Rivera averaged 92 to 94 miles per hour with his devastating cutter from 2007 through the end of his career, when velocity became as important as wins, losses, homers and RBIs. Martinez said the rise of hard-throwing relievers had just dawned in his final year, pitchers who came out of the bullpen throwing 96 and 97 miles per hour, now it's like every team has two or three, so it is difficult, he said. I think players adapt to that type of velocity. The more consistently they see it, they will adapt.